The Fed has been wanting to fight inflation for the past couple of years, and it did that by purposefully slowing down the economy with these higher interest rates. Well, now the Fed feels that it has inflation under control and that it's time to start taking its foot off the brake. For the first time in more than four years, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell was able to come to the microphone with good news. The U.S. economy is in good shape. It's growing at a solid pace. Inflation is coming down. The labor market is in a strong pace. Because of that, the Fed announced it is cutting its benchmark interest rate by a half percentage point, even more than some experts were predicting. So this could be life changing for a lot of people, not just me. In Boston, Kami Ayuk says lower interest rates might finally allow her to buy her first home. That would be fantastic. I mean, it would definitely change my 2025 goals. Um, not only for a home, but for a car. After surging in 2022 and peaking in 2023 at 7.79%, the average rate on a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage has more recently been falling, down to 6.2%, according to Freddie Mac, even before the Fed's rate cut. Truthfully, I do believe rates will be even lower in a year. But, but local real estate executive remember. Anthony Lamacchio warns waiting for lower rates risk watching home prices go even higher. He says that's because the local housing supply is already limited and lower rates will supercharge demand. The one savior that makes me think prices won't go crazy from it is as rates go down, more people that have been holding off on listing their homes because they didn't want to trade for a higher rate, they're going to come into the market. And today's rate cut will not be the last. The Fed signaled today that it plans two more rate cuts by the end of this year and four more next year.